Vibrato is a very important aspect of any flutist repertoire. It's a very advanced skill, one that in beginning band or beginning ensembles, beginning chamber music isn't necessarily utilized, but it's very important to know and understand how to produce vibrato. Vibrato is the shimmering wave-like effect that you hear on top of the notes. Instead of playing one solid note, take a high C. We add some shimmer, almost like a audio wave to the sound. There are varying speeds of vibrato and they vary depending on the music you play, uh, the player that is playing them. Everyone has their own specific style and range of vibrato. A fast vibrato usually does better in the high register and on stuff that's really loud and exciting. A slower, more calm vibrato does better usually in music that's lower, like the prelude to the Afternoon of the Fawn that I opened with. There's really no right or wrong when it comes to vibrato, just a ton of choices. How do you play vibrato? It's kind of hard to describe, but vibrato for flutus is in a way very similar to vibrato in singers. It comes both from the stomach, from deep down in the stomach above the diaphragm, all the way to inside the throat. It's slow pulses that we use and we add it to our overall airstream. We pulse it slightly so that it creates, if you were thinking of your air in visual terms, little slight tiny dips in the sound. Let's try some vibrato exercises to get you started. Let's start on a note we're all familiar with, the high B flat, the B flat at the top of the B flat major scale. Let's first start by pulsing every two beats. So we're going to play whole notes. And instead of a tongue or an articulation or any other type of gesture, we will pulse slowly with our air, with our diaphragm and our stomach. We'll make a slow vibrato pulse every two beats. I'll demonstrate and then you play with me. One, two, three, four. So it's just a subtle slight push in air, a little bit more air. Don't worry initially if you go out of tune, if you're flat or sharp. Um, actually vibrato can help to hide a lot of tuning difficulties because you're naturally going to be a little bit over, all over the place. There's not going to be one stable pitch. Let's try together. Vibrato pulses in half notes on a high B flat. One, two, three, four. Now let's try every quarter note, so twice that many times. Together, one, two, three, four. Again, don't worry if it feels like it's out of control or the note sounds ugly, it doesn't matter. It's just, we're getting started. Vibrato takes years and years and years and years to refine. It also takes listening to some of your favorite flute players, maybe even your favorite singers. It, all styles of music, uh, varying instruments use vibrato. There are not many instruments that don't. So you can draw your inspiration from a whole number of things and people. Let's try again, eighth notes. On the same high B flat, I'll count four beats and we'll come in on eighth notes vibrato. One, two, three, four. Awesome, we're getting faster. Let's try one more triplets instead of eighth notes. One, two, three, four.
And there you have it. That's a little bit of a lesson on manufactured vibrato, but we have to start somewhere. There is a point where we stop trying and manufacturing it and we start letting it happen. And it's natural, it's very gradual, but I promise you that if you keep practicing, you'll be an expert and you will understand how in no time. Just keep on playing. <laughs>